Mr. Transformers 96 here with another video where we talk about our newly shown Hot Toys figure. This time it is the uh, Captain America Civil War Scar the Witch. So yeah, so quite exciting. So um, <clears throat> this was a figure that was just confirmed not too long ago. It was actually at an event that it was first shown. Um, previously at all the Civil War events where they were showing figures, they would just show the one that was in the very last scene of Age of Ultron and uh, as their Civil War version. So um, it is nice. You know, I was a little bit worried that they weren't going to do this one. Luckily, they did do it, though, of course, and uh, it's looking quite nice, so let's talk about it. So, first of all, head sculpt-wise, I don't see any difference. I don't think that that's a new head. Um, I think that it's just the same one, maybe with some slightly different paint. Um, so, yeah, so I don't really see a difference in the head sculpt. The hair, I would imagine, is uh, sculpted a bit differently or, uh, um, you know, has a different design to it, um, but I really can't tell too much. The main difference of this figure compared to the other Scarlet Witch figures is, of course, the costume. Now, this is a really nice costume because uh, you go from the first, you know, just Age of Ultron one, where she's in relatively normal clothes. I mean, she's she's got like a uh, a red jacket on, normal size jacket. It's not like a big cloak like this one. And then um, <clears throat> she has a black undershirt, kind of skirt thing, and then just boots. You know, it's it's pretty standard uh, clothing. Nothing too extravagant, nothing too costumey, nothing too comic-y. Um, and then we get the uh, after, or not after credits, but the uh, the the last scene of Age of Ultron, where she is in a different uh, suit. It is more of a costume-like one, where she's kind of got like a corset thing and a longer jacket that goes down a little bit further, um, but certainly not like a, a big jacket like that. And then uh, the black skin-tight pants with uh, boots, and that is definitely a more comic look. Um, however, it wasn't too extravagant. It wasn't too cool, uh, in my opinion, at least. This one is a really great costume look for Scarlet Witch in my opinion. I think that um, it looks quite nice. Uh, she's got the big red cloak that just goes completely down almost to her feet, the uh, red corset, and then the black skin tight pants with the boots. I think it looks very cool, it's very costumey, and it definitely I think will fit in better with your Avengers rather than the first uh, um, Age of Ultron Scarlet Witch, which I did get, so that's my big, uh, because I really do like her costume from Age of Ultron, it's just, it's not necessarily a costume, but I liked her look in Age of Ultron, so I did want to get that figure. Um, my question is, is it going to be worth it for me to buy uh, this one? And uh, that I'm not quite sure. I'm definitely considering it, however, I haven't uh, made, made up my mind yet. It looks like there's nothing new, I mean, the accessory effects that she comes with are identical to the ones that uh, uh, that both of the other Scarlet Witches came with. Um, the base is very standard, and then you just get a set of hands, of course, and then uh, you're going to get a little Ant-Man with her. Um, it's, he's kind of like running. The Ant-Man, I really don't see much of a need for at all. Um, uh, it's neat that like some of the characters are coming with a little Ant-Man, like Scarlet Witch, or I mean... Um, Black Widow came with a Ant-Man where he was landing, um, Ant-Man came with an Ant-Man that's just standing, and now Scarlet Witch comes with an Ant-Man that's running. It, you know, it just it entices people to buy uh, a figure that maybe is lacking on accessories, and uh, it's just, it's kind of fun to have, like, all the little Ant-Mans and everything like that, but they, it's very unnecessary. I'm definitely not going to buy this figure just for the Ant-Man. He's a nice little bonus, but uh, definitely not something that's going to uh, decide, uh, not, nothing that's going to draw my decision making um, for this figure so I'll, I'll, that's kind of neat but uh, definitely nothing too special so accessory wise she really doesn't come with anything special or new I was hoping for some new effects um, or even just some sort of diorama base would have been cool although I wasn't expecting that um, so yeah so basically and there's, it's the same head sculpt too so you are just buying this for the costume um, and if you already have one of the other previous Scarlet Witches that's definitely not a great draw for you so uh, we'll have to see if I do end up getting this it is uh, it's not on pre-order yet because it was shown on um, Friday night, it'll go on pre-order Monday from Sideshow most likely. So we'll have to wait the weekend to see the price on this. But uh, I would imagine it'll be priced exactly the same as the last Scarlet the Witch, which I think was like two. 15 maybe? I, I think that her the last guy that which uh, the Age of Ultron one was 215 so I would imagine that this is very close to that price range. Um, it, it's definitely not going to be any higher. It's not going to be any less. Uh, that's what they seem to be doing with these Civil War figures is just putting them out for the almost exact same price as the last one. 
So there you go. Overall, I'm really liking the look of the costume, which is the only reason I'm even considering it. Um, but figure-wise, it doesn't come with anything too new. So I wouldn't buy this if you do already have one of the previous Age of Ultron figures and you're not in love with this costume. Um, however, if you don't have a Scarlet Witch figure, obviously just buy the one that you like the costume of the best. Um, however, I think that this would be a perfect one for you um, because she's obviously in the costume. She looks like she's part of the team. Um, while the Age of Ultron one, you know, it was, it was a great representation of Scarlet Witch, but it's it's not quite uh, a team member one because she's not, you know, in her team costume, basically. So there you go. That's my thoughts on this uh, Captain America Civil War Scarlet Witch figure, the uh, the newest version from Civil War. Uh, so pretty neat. Definitely looking really nice, but I definitely haven't made my decision on whether I'm going to be purchasing this one or not. There's actually quite a few figures from the Civil War line where I have previous versions of, but I'm still considering uh, the new one, such as um, uh, Scarlet Witch, Black Widow, and Ant Man. At the moment, I'm all con I'm considering those three. Uh, maybe even Captain America too. But there you go. That's my thoughts on Scarlet Witch and. Tell me what you guys think of it, and thanks so much for watching.